Missouri is a very good team, and I think that was the big uh, confidence builder for Illinois. Martin had the hot hand from three-point land. They give it to Hammock, the seven-footer, and he loses it. I don't know. LSU has not gotten the ball to Mike Hansen here in the last two or three minutes, and he really had the hot hand from three-point land. Kaufman will bring it across. Clemens again. Hammock commits the foul. The freshman Lenny Rennie Clemens, as did Deion Thomas against Missouri a few nights ago. They've really come of age, Cheryl, in this game. They really have. And Clemens, you know, he doesn't care if you're 6'9", 7'0", 7'5". He's going to drive it. I mean, you saw him try to go over Hammock. He's, seven, he's a seven-footer trying to slam on him. Clemens with a career-high 18 points as Boudreaux replaces Hammock. And Rennie Clemens, a freshman from Calvary High School in Springfield, Illinois. Lou Hansen told him yesterday in practice, he says, we're soft out front. He says, I want you guys to get up on these people. I want you to take charge. And I want to tell you what, Rennie Clemens took him at his word. When he told, uh, told his players they needed to get up, he took it as get up on the basket. And he's been jumping up there all day. 97-92 with 27 seconds to go. Clemens hits one of two. And a timeout. We'll keep it right here at Assembly Hall in Champaign, Illinois. The Fighting Illini lead LSU 98-92. And what a sweet victory this would be for Lou Henson and his team. They've got a little bit of time off here over the holidays. They'll play Memphis State in Memphis, which will be a difficult game. LSU next goes to Nickel State. But Cheryl, with 27 seconds left, Mike Hansen has been the man outside. He's got five three-pointers in the second half. Is that where they've got to go immediately? With the nil on the bench now, yeah. obviously they're going to have to go to him. They're going to have to set some screens up for him. But I was really surprised when Hanson with the with the hot hand, why LSU didn't go to him earlier once they started getting back, you know, back into the game. Well, I think what happened was when, when Dion Thomas and the Petty fouled out, you know, naturally you go down to Shaquille, he went to the free throw line, he made him. But the other side of that is when you're behind, you want Shaquille maybe to kick it outside, and Hanson was, would be there because they were double, triple teaming down on Shaquille. Anyway, timeouts remaining, one for each team. Possession arrow in favor of LSU. The team fouls both of them with 10. LSU has hit 6 of 15 from three-point land. Hanson 5 of 9 this half. Illinois just 1 of 9, and that was Kaufman. And Kaufman, even though we were expecting him to have a three-point shootout, has done it in different areas. You know, he was driving, doing some different things. You see Lou Hanson right now with his uh, arms folded, concentrating for the game. But this is going to be a big win for him, you know, with 27 uh, seconds left in the game. Well, Illinois 8-3. and three. They got off to a slow start. They were pummeled by Nebraska. Illinois, Chicago beat them. But a big win against Missouri, and this would be even bigger here today. As Hansen will bring it right down with Smith on him. Hansen will take it inside and get the easy two. And the timeout now by LSU with 20 seconds to go. And Illinois leading 98-94. The last thing you want to do if you're Illinois is just up the uh, three-pointer. That time they gave away two points, but Illinois is going to have to play a better, do a better job on the defensive end. Hope you have a great holiday out there, and on Christmas Day, if you've got nothing else to do and you're sitting around, I'd like to invite you to join ABC at 12 Eastern time as we head to Montgomery, Alabama for a holiday tradition. It's the Kelly Tire Blue-Gray All-Star Football Classic. Then at 3.30 Eastern, we'll go to the island paradise of Hawaii for the Eagle Aloha Bowl. The Syracuse Orangemen take on the Arizona Wildcats. It's all Christmas Day, and it's right here on ABC Sports. That'd be a good basketball game, too, wouldn't it, Syracuse and Arizona? Very good basketball game. So what are you asking Santa for besides a new knee? <laughs> That's all I want is a new right knee, Cheryl. That's all I want. 98-94, 20 seconds left to go. As we remind you at the Thomas and Mack Center, UNLV 91, Florida State 45. And that game, of course, in the second half. I want to say that LSU had a tough road here yesterday. They play, This is their third game in five days. They played Loyola Marymount, came off the victory. The charter flight could not get into Champaign. There was fog on the ground here, so they had to go to Terre Haute. The bus was late there. It took them two hours to get here. The time they got in, it was late. They couldn't practice. They came over for a shoot-around this morning. But I think 
when you look at it and you look at the stats, when you see 54 rebounds to 33, that is the big thing because Illinois has done it inside as Tom Michael will take it inbounds for the Fighting Illini. The foul on Boudreaux. Foul is on Harold Boudreaux. And even though uh, Dale Brown likes to downplay, you know, the road trip and how, how tiring it was, I think it did play a big part in today's game. They weren't doing the job defensively on the boards. I think his players were tired. 23 points for Kaufman, make it 24. He's got nine rebounds, seven of those on the offensive glass. Only other meeting between these two teams was in 1988, and LSU lost to Illinois in that game, which Lou Henson calls the best game that he's had a team play for him in 36 years of coaching. He said it was incredible. This will stick in his mind today also as Pugh takes a three-pointer and misses it. Saved on the baseline. Boudreaux can't get it, and Pierce comes away with it. And finally, they're going to blow the whistle with five seconds left, and Illinois leading by six. Dale Brown. Scott Pierce at the line. Two shots. And Scott Pierce will go to the line. Things are going your way, they go your way. Get the bounce, get everything, but Pierce played in the first half defensively very well against O'Neal, provided some good defense for Illinois. Team in, they got a couple hoops for him, too. 102-94, Hanson will bring it down and lay it in. They'll clear out as the clock runs out. And a big win for Illinois. They upset LSU, 102-96 to the final at Assembly Hall in Champaign. And what a terrific Christmas it'll be for all the Illinois fans. We're going to send it back to John Saunders and our studios in New York after this commercial message.